All right, welcome back to the channel. Man, I cannot believe this. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has got a great business idea, and that is to charge you $1,000 for him to say hello to you. Can you believe it? $1,000 to say hello to you. Let's talk about that in this video. All right. So, Golden Boy Promotions, Mayweather Promotions, and Top Rank are all really feeling the squeeze from this coronavirus and some things have come to light that might question lead some people to question whether or not they're going to be along around much longer. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So, um, Golden Boy Promotions, Top Rank Promotions, and Mayweather Promotions are all on record for having taken out government loans uh, under what is called the PPP. It's a PPP program, um, which is the pay, the Paytex Paycheck Protection Program. And what this is at a very high level is that when you have small businesses during the coronavirus that are really worried that they're going to either have to fire a lot of pro they're going to have to fire a lot of employees or that they're in or they're going to have to shut their business down if they don't fire all these employees they are allowed to apply for loans from their bank that I do believe will be subsidized by or guaranteed by the small business I think it's the small business administration however that's but it's the federal government for sure. So top rank golden boy and Mayweather promotions all apply to be part of this program. And what that does is give them money so that they can cover a portion of their payroll that they might not have been able to cover otherwise. And if they're not able to cover their pay, their payroll, obviously their, their employees go out of work and, or their business has to, their business has to shut down. And so the fact that they applied for it tells you that all of those organizations are under, you know, on, are under a bit of a squeeze. Now, interestingly enough, I the a person or the organization that was not mentioned in this was uh, the PBC itself, Premier Boxing Champions. I have not heard, or at least in this report, it did not come out about whether or not they also applied for the loan. Right now. So this led people to ask me, you know, does this mean that these guys are going to go out of business? And my, the answer, the short answer to that is no, it, no, not necessarily because this is a program that a lot of businesses are taking advantage of. And quite honestly, you'd be, you know, a little stupid if you didn't, because this is, this money is not something that they, it's a, it's not something that they're going to have as long as they meet certain requirements. I'm not sure what all, I can't tell you specifically what all the requirements are, but I have listened to people run over what they were and they sound to be, you know, pretty much, you know, you're guaranteed, not completely guaranteed, but as long as you don't do anything crazy, like fire a bunch of your employees and try to keep the money right for yourself, that this is going to be a guarantee that this is going to be a, um, what do you call it? A forgivable loan. And they're going to wind up not having to pay this money back. So it would kind of be stupid for Top Rank, Golden Boy Promotions, or Mayweather Promotions to not take that money. It's pretty much, it's pretty much free money that keeps your keeps your business afloat, right? So uh, yes, it does show that um, that they have you know that they have certain cash that they have cash issues, right? Or that they were fearful of of it. But it does not mean that they're going to go out of business because, you know, most of the salaries and things that people do, you can, when you run a business, you can find ways between balancing your work between people that are W-2s and people that are 1099s, right? So like a W-2 is somebody that is an actual employee of yours. 1099 is somebody that is a subcontractor to you where you don't have a lot of the costs that employees would use, that employees, that having employees, um would make would force you to incur like 
You don't have to pay them. You don't have to pay benefits for them. You don't also, you don't have to pay the same payroll, the same amount, the same payroll taxes and things that you do, you have to do for your employees. Also, when you want to, when you want to let them go, you can let them go uh, much more easily than you can somebody that's a W-2 because say, for example, the guy that you want to let go is 42 years old um, and you want to hire somebody to replace them that is 28. Well, you know, doing that can get you in a lot of trouble because if you're over 40 years old in the United States, you're a protected class of citizen. So if they feel like the reason that you're getting related, you're getting rid of them is related to age, you know, their age, uh, then, you know, you could be in some, you really could be in some trouble and it could wind up costing you a lot of money making that move if that person's your employee. But if that person is your 1099, right? And as long as what you're doing is you're, you're not treating them like an employee, you're not, um, for example, you don't set the hours that they come in and they leave. You're not, you know, they're not necessarily working under your direction. They have their own, they are laying out their own plans and going about, you can set the goal that you have for them, right? But the way that they actually go about do it, if you're not hands on and telling them what to do on an hour to hour basis, you know, then, you know, you put them as a 1099 and when your business has some cash flow issues, you can immediately downsize, you can downsize much more easily. So that could be one reason that the PBC is wouldn't file for a pay, you know, for a pay pay what do you call it a um a paycheck was it paycheck protection program, you know, PPP. That could be a reason why um the PBC didn't file for that and those other organizations did because, you know, from looking at how 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 Al Heyman does business he seems to be the type of guy that would under that would understand and work in that model. For example, there's a lady that works for um, that that is commonly understood to be to work for PBC, which is uh, Kelly Swanson. But if you look at Kelly Swanson's LinkedIn or anything like or, or get an idea of who she is, you'll see that she has her own business and she's contracting for um, contracting for the PBC. So. There's no, at least from the outside looking in, there's no paycheck issue with uh, Kelly Swanson. If Kelly, if if PBC doesn't have any events, you know, to promote or any events to, you know, organize media relationships with, then she's just, they just don't assign her the work, right? It's not like they would have to lay her off. They would just be that, hey, the work's not there. And hey, when boxing comes back, we'll let you know when we need you to to organize or manage our next event, right? So that could be the reason that the PBC didn't do that is because they were a little bit more, um, uh, not unorthodox, but less traditional in their employment models. And you could see like a guy like Bob Arum is more, is going to be more prone to having employees than he would having, uh, having 1099s. Cause Pretty much, I mean, he's been in business since you know, since the late 1960s, and the mentality at the time really was to build up the number of employees that you have and write all of that stuff. So, you know, it could just really be, you know, uh, um, the reason why a the PBC wouldn't do it, and you know, top rank would really could be just the way that their that their organization and their and their hiring process. Their re I wouldn't say hiring processes but their resource the way that they bring on resources right could be different so you know no i do not think that this in and of itself means the top rank is going to go broke or golden boy promotion is going to go broke or blade for or mayweather promotions is going to go broke i just think that it is those guys probably being very smart about taking free money and there ain't no problem with that i mean if they're going to say hey you know we want to make sure your businesses stay up and you know and, you know, here is this money. And just as long as you require, you follow these requirements, you don't need to pay it back. You know, that's just, that's just being smart. And the reason why the PBC may not have applied for that, and they may have, right? They might just have missed them because they're not a pro, you know, a, um, a promotional company. The reason they might not have filed for that is because there's, uh, or also there's another one, there's a program, a separate program besides the PPP where uh where businesses can get uh can get loans but it's it's slightly different i can't recall what the name of it is but they might have done that one but all in all man um let me make sure i'm not going too far over my time um because i like to keep these you know kind of 
somewhere in the t somewhere in the 11 to 15 minute range. But I mean, I think this thing is important to understand. I mean, I don't do a lot of business like really, you know, specifically focused business conversations on this on this panel. But, you know, the PPP rally is was a good deal is a good deal for businesses, for small and medium businesses. And it saved a lot of jobs. So, you know, now nah, I don't think that these guys are going out of business. They're just being really they're just being very, very savvy. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. You oh, however, though, when boxing does come back, I do believe that those those guys, generally speaking, are not performing well in the in the boxing matches that they're putting on because the because the product's not that good. That may be a problem for for um, top rank and all that, but not but not this PPP thing. Anyway, it is what it is, and with that, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.